stops, guys. If you're in a trade, write down the reasons why you're in a trade. Stay in the trade until those reasons no longer exist. Here's why I don't use stops. And it sounds a lot more dangerous than it is. It's not. Let's say you're long clear because you're bullish oil and you're long from 29. Okay? Stock starts working and you say, you know what? The stock is working. Um, I have a profit, but I don't want to lose money. So I'm going to put a stop at my end at my entry point. The reason why you got into clear is because um, Superman just started working there and they're the greatest company in the world. Those, those are the two reasons. When the stock climbs up, as long as Superman hasn't quit and as long as it's not the best company in the world, why would you get out? The market is going to ebb and flow. Look at the market. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Have an opinion for what you like to do and be strong with your opinion. Be confident with your opinion. You would have just let the market take your great trade away because over Thanksgiving, it decided to sell off in a very illiquid market that mattered nothing rather than, you know, be confident. Don't trade until you like until you have a reason to be in a position and then stay in that trade until you get at, until that, those reasons no, no longer exist. It's going to make you a better trader because it's going to allow you to trust yourself. The reason why we teach to buy options is because instead of using a stop with options, you can decide how much you're comfortable risking and then risk that amount of money. So, if you're willing to risk a thousand dollars, risk a thousand dollars. Don't risk two thousand and have a stop at a thousand. Okay, if you're willing to risk a thousand dollars before you get into the trade, you know the time commitment. Maybe you get in for 50 days. Have some confidence, believe in yourself, make an investment. I'm going to invest a thousand dollars for 50 days because these two reasons. I'm in the trade until those reasons no longer exist. If all of a sudden we're in like our oil trades, if all of a sudden they didn't, if there weren't production cuts and it was going to be the opposite where they were going to flood the market, we would have to get out because the reasons why we got into the trade no longer exists. Now the, the people can't trade like this on their own because for one, they don't have the confidence to be able to believe in their trade. They're going to get too hung up on the ebb and flow of the market. They're going to get too, like, that's why I said, don't trade Thanksgiving. It's all bullshit. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, this is nothing. Like, who cares? You've seen it. Stocks go up. Stocks go down. It's what, what matters in the long term that, that matters. So be patient make good decisions, get on the right side of things. Don't wait. If you have a strong opinion and too many still do this, if you have a strong opinion, some core, I want to get long, you wait until you see it rally because then you're like, oh, I'm getting confirmation and you call that Momo and then you get in rather than if you like a stock, get in. If you don't like it, don't trade. Okay. Don't wait for the market to confirm. Okay. Awesome. You guys, you guys are great. I got to run. Let me upload this. I'll get it out to you as soon as I can. And we'll, uh, we'll talk in the room. All right.